Today's uh, field-based mobile workers need to be empowered with the right amount of information at their fingertips to be able to do their jobs better. And today we're hearing more and more enterprises needing to have an affordable solution and affordability is key. What we found was that from a device solution perspective, we needed to be able to hit certain feature set and price points to affordably automate these enterprises, especially in the emerging markets. And that's really where the MC45 fits in. For emerging markets, again, there are two issues. One is to get to the right price point that many of those markets require in order to get the total cost of ownership and the return on investment they're looking for. But there's also an issue with regard to form factor. In many emerging markets, there's literally a requirement for just a physically smaller device, something that's a little bit more like a personal cell phone, but it's still a durable industrial class tool. The MC45 was designed for that second. Well, in the case of the MC45, it's our first truly global product. And by that, I mean we've emphasized the research and development that we've done with uh, Asian markets. So when you look at the MC45, what you see is a smaller device uh, at a very specific price point. Yet it's a very featureful product. And that was one of the big challenges of the MC45. And as we started looking into it and we realized that this is a product that really can hit a market that we're not in right now, and we looked at our competition and said, well, if they're developing products in this sector, we know we can develop products in this sector also. And by looking at the platforming approach, which again, enterprise mobile computing is known for, we were able to leverage, again, our high EDA product platforms, reduce those costs, and we were able to realize that we could bring a product to market and hit that price point. When you have a compact uh, package, uh, you cannot just ignore the form factor. For example, when you design the uh, keypad, we cannot just design our own keypad without having the customer input. So we visit the customer with our initial concept and they provide some feedback based on the concept. We keep contact with the customer in order to improve our design concept. So there's a lot of intelligent trade-offs made in the design of the MC45 so that it not only provides a lot of value to our customers, but it fits well within our product portfolio. So it doesn't actually overlap any of our most rugged products. It doesn't overlap any of our most featureful products. But what it does do is it hits a very specific niche and hits that niche very well. The secret to the MC45 is balance. Balancing just enough features to complete the solution for the customer at the price point that makes their return on the investment model work. The size, the form factor, the ergonomics of the device was something we paid a lot of attention to. Because what we heard was the user experience and the interaction of the device with the user is probably as critical to the functionality of the device itself. A lot of rigor, a lot of attention went into making that device pocketable having the tracking balance, the right fit in the hand, the right form factor and the right ergonomics, and marrying that with the right feature set, uh, 3G WAN, cellular connectivity, GPS, uh, a slew of multi-mode data capture connectivity, a rugged and reliable construction. So marrying all these rich features with that striking balance of ergonomics and form factor really delivers a solid set of features for the MC45 at the end of the day. Today's uh, field-based mobile workers need to be empowered with the right amount of information at their fingertips to be able to do their jobs better. And today we're hearing more and more enterprises needing to have an affordable solution, and affordability is key. What we found was that from a device solution perspective, we needed to be able to hit certain feature set and price points to affordably automate these enterprises, especially in the emerging markets. And that's really where the MC45 fits in. For emerging markets, again, there are two issues. One is to get to the right price point that many of those markets require in order to get the total cost of ownership and the return on investment they're looking for. 
But there's also an issue with regard to form factor. In many emerging markets, there's literally a requirement for just a physically smaller device, something that's a little bit more like a personal cell phone, but it's still a durable industrial class tool. The MC45 was designed for that second. Well, in the case of the MC45, it's our first truly global product. And by that, I mean we've emphasized the research and development that we've done with uh, Asian markets. So when you look at the MC45, what you see is a smaller device uh, at a very specific price point, yet it's a very featureful product. And that was one of the big challenges of the MC45. And as we started looking into it and we realized that this is a product that really can hit a market that we're not in right now. And we looked at our competition and said, well, if they're developing products in this sector, we know we can develop products in this sector also. And by looking at the platforming approach, which again, enterprise mobile computing is known for, we were able to leverage, again, our high EDA product platforms, reduce those costs, and we were able to realize that we could bring a product to market and hit that price point. When you have a compact uh, package, uh, you cannot just ignore the home factor. For example, when you design the uh, keypad, we cannot just design our own keypad without having the customer input. So we visit the customer with our initial concept and they provide some feedback based on the concept. We keep contact with the customer in order to improve our design concept. So there was a lot of intelligent trade-offs made in the design of the MC45 so that it not only provides a lot of value to our customers, but it fits well within our product portfolio. So it doesn't actually overlap any of our most rugged products. It doesn't overlap any of our most featureful products. But what it does do is it hits a very specific niche and hits that niche very well. The secret to the MC45 is balance. Balancing just enough features to complete the solution for the customer at the price point that makes their return and investment model work. The size, the form factor, the ergonomics of the device was something we paid a lot of attention to. Because what we heard was the user experience and the interaction of the device with the user is probably as critical to the functionality of the device itself. A lot of rigor, a lot of attention went into making that device pocketable having the striking balance of the right fit in the hand, the right form factor and the right ergonomics, and marrying that with the right feature set, uh, 3G WAN, cellular connectivity, GPS, uh, a slew of multi-mode data capture connectivity, a rugged and reliable construction. So marrying all these rich features with that striking balance of ergonomics and form factor really delivers a solid set of features for the MC45 at the end of the day. Aberdeen is Scotland's third largest city. It has a population of 210,000. The building services team for the city looks after 23,000 houses, the repairs and maintenance of all of those homes, plus the repairs and maintenance of other properties belonging to the council. We were driven to look at a different way to, to improve the customer experience and also to drive efficiencies. We have 500 workers throughout the city, the craftsmen of different types, and these workmen have to be in the right place at the right time. And we wanted to deliver a one-stop process. We arrive at a place, we fix the job, and then we leave the place. We evaluated and we found that an, an ideal way was to have a mobile working system. We conducted a public tender under the EU regulations. 50 people responded initially. The successful tenderer was Concilium Stoughton Mobile. Total Mobile is a platform to run mobile working on. They had the best integrated package. We took what was a lot of very inefficient processes um, and made them that they were now a lot more mobile, a lot more efficient. The calls basically come into the call centre. There's a diagnosis of what that fault is. The fault goes through selecting the nearest and most appropriate person to do that job. The person then gets that job to their device, the MC55. To be able to complete that work 
using material in their van. Their timesheets is recorded on the device. That's all brought back into their back office systems without the men coming back into site. So from what was previously a lot of inefficient time being wasted, Aberdeen using Total Mobile has completely um, revolutionised that. But we have a good relationship with Motorola. But we find that the MC55, a very good device to work with, very rugged. Our software just simply plugs and plays on it. The MC55 is one in a family of enterprise digital assistants. Aberdeen Council was particularly interested in them because they trialled consumer devices, found they weren't robust enough. The MC55 has a drop specification so it can withstand the bumps and knocks that uh, occur on a daily basis. The device itself has a large clear 3.5 inch screen but it's a small compact device so it can easily be carried all day uh, when used by the craftspeople but at the same time gives them clear visibility of the total mobile application. Also with the mobile communications it means that the craftspeople can get their jobs remotely, they can automatically update when they've completed a job and they can get the most relevant information. You sign your van out from your house in the morning and then you get your first job sent to you if you need materials. If you haven't got it in the van, you can use the device to get your materials sent directly from the stores to the job. It will then come through on this handheld here, which you can see here, I've actually got a list of all the stuff that somebody's actually used during the day. You've got barcodes on here, you've got a barcode scanner on the end. I just say one or two of those, do the barcode on there and it will come off my stock here and go out to the van. You happy enough with that job? Yes. So what I'll do is I'll complete a job and yes, all the job was done how you wanted it. Next, and then I'll get you to sign here. And then I can request my next visit, accept the job, and then I'd say I'm on my way. The system is excellent. It's helped us to, to be a more efficient service and it's helped us to drive proper performance indicators. We have promised to deliver 95% of the repair services within 24 hours. We're now able to deliver 94% within four hours. The ultimate benefits of the system are that they increase productivity. In the first year that we employed this service, we managed to save 1.5 million pounds. It makes it very competitive, both in the public and the private sector, and also allows us to look to the future both as a commercial organisation as well as a public sector based organisation.